Netcasts you love. From people you trust. This is Twit. Bandwidth for iPad Today is provided by CashFly at C-A-C-H-E-F-L-Y dot com. Coming up, rock out with your iPad out. We've got some music apps to soothe you. Plus, Open Table gets smarter. Why transparencies and all that. And iPads wearing tortoises. <laughs> yeah, iPad wearing tortoises. All that and photos. Oh, the tortoises are wearing the iPads. That's right. And we'll tell you more about that. Photos that matter as well on iPad Today iPad Today is brought to you by Gazelle, the fast and simple way to sell your used gadgets. Find out what your used iPhone, iPad, or other Apple product is worth at gazelle.com. And by Harry's. For guys who want a great shave experience for a fraction of what you're paying now, go to harrys.com. Get $5 off your first purchase by entering the code iPad Today at checkout. One little S makes all the difference. <laughs> iPad today is on the air. Swipe, 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 swipe. Welcome. Welcome. Hi, Hi. Sarah Lane. I'm, I'm Leo Laporte. Good times. <laughs> Great oldies. Today, <laughs> we will talk about the iPad. You know what I miss, actually? What? Just now, as I was swiping, I accidentally opened up my watch ESPN app. Just, I, I don't know, I hit it by accident. And, and football has started. And I realized, yeah, I kind of, I, I when during the World Cup, that's all I did was watch soccer Sorry. through the watch ESPN app. The NFL preseason started this week, mm -hmm. so there's plenty to do. And you're excited because you're a big Niners fan. Lisa is, so she takes me. She drags me by the scruff of well, my you neck. Get to, but you get to go to the new stadium this season. I'm excited, season. yeah. She That's went fun. yesterday. They had uh, their preseason game opener, and then uh, I think we're going in a couple of weeks for the actual season opener against the Bears. The Bears. The Bears. I'll yeah. see the new stadium. And then you know what happened last uh, Thursday was Sir Paul McCartney tore down Candlestick Park by hand by, by himself. Uh, what? Can't. Well, I think they said it's, it's the last concert at Candlestick and that he was going to tear it down right after. And it... <sighs> All right. Well... And you can buy seats, orange seats from the old stadium. That I would like, Polished actually. Polished by the butts of hundreds of fans, thousands. Right. Yeah. Um, sort of, would you? Uh, yeah, you can, they're not sure. that expensive. Uh, we should we could get some I for here. I think it'd be kind of fun. They said them in Solomon sets a three, I think. I, you know, not that this has anything to do with iPads, but you know, I, I I'm a Candlestick Park fan, well, and I was I did, the whole thing is a little sad. There so is an iPad cool. connection. There is the new Santa Clara Stadium for the San Francisco 49ers, like most new stadia has Wi-Fi, yeah. and they encourage you to bring your iPad. Oh, they encourage it. They encourage you. You can order food from your iPad or your iPhone. Oh, that's fun. You can uh, watch instant replays in your seat on your iPad. With some sort of, like, uh, Levi's some Stadium app? Type yes. of <laughs> some crazy apparatus. Some crazy apparatus. <laughs> Where I think it involves an antenna on your head and a backpack. That's awesome. Yeah. People look so good down there. Mm. Santa Clara is so far. What are we going to do? It is what a long way. Do? Not that I ever really went to football You know what's games. great, though? What? Um, Marriott's Great America, I think they call it Six Flags now, Yeah. is right next door. So you get bored, you can go to the amusement park. And you go to, you, you take a little, uh, I don't know, a little dip off the edge. Do they still have the edge there? I used to go to Grand America when That's, I was a kid. That is, I remember that. that. Was, you would sit scary. and your feet would be hanging off the edge. And then they drop you. And they drop you. Yeah. But you never. That's hit, the ride. <laughs> if everything works properly, you never hit the ground. Correct. I think actually a couple of people died on that mm -hmm. uh, once or twice uh, in yeah, the several decades. That's why I'll go that, on amusement yeah. park rides. Yeah, you know amusement parks, they... It's not Provide worth diminishing dying. returns when you get older. Hey, so this uh, this show is not about amusement parks or football, but we try to work both in whenever possible. Uh, this is uh, uh, the part of the show where we try to pick a theme, something that that there's some cohesive apps that we can put together and say, this is what we're talking about today. You know, we haven't talked about in a while is music. iPad is great for listening to music. Actually, I listen to audiobooks as well, not just music. That yeah. On my iPad. I guess we could almost we could open um, it up to audio, really. Audio in general. Audio well, in general. There's certainly a lot of that. I mean, many people watch podcasts or listen to Twit on uh, their iPad as well. Very true. The music theme is a good one because you can make music on your iPad. You can listen to music. There are subscription services. They're all across the board. 
You know, we haven't covered What's that? at least w in any you know depth is Beats Music, which now of course is an Apple-owned entity. Is there an iPad version or is it only iPhone? No, there's an iPad there's version. An iPad version. Yeah, yeah. In fact, um, will you show it to me? I will. Yes. This is actually uh, this is a nice little setup that walks you through it. Now I have a 14-day trial uh, because I you know picked a picked a uh, username and password that I hadn't chose chosen before but this is a subscription service not mm. unlike a Spotify mm -hmm. um, or an RDO where you uh, there are certain uh, free aspects of it but if you want the, the the full version you're paying something like ten dollars a month okay so here is where it kind of works out nicely let's say genres that I like beats music is, is it kind of walks you through it in a nice way I say okay this rap, is cool. yeah. I like some uh, some dance let's uh, do some rock uh, 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 electronic pop okay well that's a good start all right and then it says okay let's try to get a better sense of you know you said you liked electronic music do you like basement jacks do you like uh e40 yes i do do you like uh portishead yeah very much so you too sure um this is electronic dance music well that th i mean in I said rap, hip hop, uh, oh, okay. pop, this is kind of the pop electronic. Music yeah. It's, oh, is, I see. This is of all the stuff. I yeah, it's, I it's it's basically saying let's get a little bit more granular yeah. with what you like. Like Demi Lovato, no, it's not, not so much. exactly what I meant. Yeah. Words of Canada is pretty good. Okay, we'll just go ahead and finish, or you could go with more artists. The idea is to just to get a nice curated sense of uh, now they what said I three artists, want. but you pick more than three, and that was okay. Yeah, yeah. you you could actually keep going if you wanted right. to. At this point. Uh, Do you like Daz Dillinger? Uh, I don't know who Daz Dillinger is. I think you'll like him who based is? on oh, your, Daz. your suggestion for uh, Portis. Oh, oh, Daz. I'm I'm afraid to play that because it looks uh, it adult. looks like parental. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, but uh, you two live. What what could possibly go wrong? Right. Daydreaming. Exactly. This is this is cool. So here is. Uh, a, a kind of just a mishmash of stuff. Now, now this is one of my fears, okay? Because okay. I know that it was created by Dr. Dre. Yeah. Uh, that there might be a predominance of hip hop in there. And I noticed there's quite a bit of hip hop. Did you mention any hip hop artists in your yes. picks? You did, okay. I did. So you got some hip hop. I said in there. Tupac, and I believe I said. Oh, Jay -Z. you said Tupac. Well, yeah. there you go. All right. Now, this is a Portishead uh, song, but it's in a kind of a, a genre block called Daydreaming. Portishead yeah. is kind of daydreamy sort of music. It's pretty down tempo. Okay, so that's kind of interesting. I can go ahead. So it's not even the, with, into, because of Dr. Dre. It's not no, all rap. It's no, whatever kind of music you want. Honestly, beats music is it has the same. Uh, it, it's it's the same music library as everybody else. It's not kind of urban. No, not at all. Not at all. Um, okay, so this is my little daydreaming block. Or, of course, there are certain uh, blocks that have to do specifically with an artist like that. that is a album specifically by Snoop Doggy Dogg before he changed it to Snoop Dogg. That was his first solo album. You've got U2 Live here. And this is all just based on what I've told Beats Music that I like. It's an interesting mix, Portishead and Snoop Dogg. That would be a mashup. Right. But the, well, those are two different areas. Now, here's where it gets kind of fun, though. If I go, this is just for me, based on what I told Beats that I like. Let's go to the sentence. Now, this, oh, look at this. This is actually, it's kind of weird. It's, 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 it's kind of... I'm at the gym and feel like pre-partying with my pets to metal. Okay, so I don't really want to <laughs> do that. So let's say I want to go dance... I'm at the it, gym. It knows that and you I like to feel, dance with your cats, though. I feel like making bad, making bad choices, choices with strangers okay. to dance. Play the sentence. What are you going to get now? Basement Jacks, take me back to your house. Wow. Now, this is all based on just kind of like weird keywords, right? When, when Jimmy Iovine uh, uh, started Beats Music, he said the problem with all the existing uh, stuff is it's not curated. Yeah. And uh, he wanted to bring human curation back to music. He said, the secret to music is discovery and having people you trust tell you what you might like. This is an interesting way to do it. I do just, you feel it gives you good choices? I think it's so funny. I'm at the beach doing nothing with strangers to... No, no not, not strangers. with strangers. Do with, with my no girls. Oh, okay. oh, no pants on. Well, I'm not going to wear pants at the beach. Right. To... Uh, indie. Indie. Okay, That ready? would be my Play sentence. this new sentence. Stereo Lab. I actually love this song. Wow and Flutter. Yeah, so this, really is, this is me and my girls hanging out without pants at the beach. 
just chilling. We got nothing to do because it's Saturday. On the beach. Just Actually, now I can say, yeah, I like that. And then Beat says, awesome. Now we know a little bit more about you. We've put together a sentence that you enjoy. Gosh, I haven't heard okay. this song in a long time. So you had to give it thumbs up. Yeah, I give it a little heart. Now, so he's not going to do that sentence thing a lot? It's like done now? Uh, or is that always going to be there? The, that's part of the experience. Okay. That is part of the experience, the sentence. It's, I like that. It's clever. And then there's highlights that is more ah, of just a... Here's you the know, expert. In, yeah, okay. Yeah, that Beats is saying, I think that this is, you know, best of Weird, Weird Al, for example. These are humans picking Proposed this. playlist, um, yeah. XSL Magazine, which is a music magazine. Compare um, this to iTunes Radio. It seems a little more... F it's very well put together. Yeah. The app is, I mean, it's, it looks like a magazine, honestly, doesn't it? It kind of looks like an iPad yeah. magazine. Of course, there's, there's, some, there's some options here. You can search by, uh, you know, uh, you, well, this is an area where you would save your favorite artists or your albums or your favorite songs. You can just go ahead and browse and just be like, don't, don't worry about what I told you about what I like. I'm just kind of interested in, you know, listening to Beats Experimental. Whatever that and is. Do you f now, you haven't had this long enough to really know, but I was wondering. Well, I actually, I have a, you have a an different account. account on my iPhone. I, I just wanted use, to walk you through the, yeah, the, the beginning. process. Yeah. You use RDO, I know, is your favorite yep. still. Still? Yep. Totally. Does this do a better job than Pandora and RDO of picking new music that you might like? Because well, that's really the whole thing, right? RDO doesn't really, they do have an option that you can listen to sort of like a radio station that's either based on your collection or whatever, but I don't really use it for that. That RDO is like new albums come out on Tuesdays. I listen to a lot of albums. I pay $10 a month. I listen to RDO constantly. Uh, Pandora is like, I just don't want to think about it. Just right. play me something. Beats is somewhere in between. Again, uh, you, you, you have a free trial, but then it is a subscription based. Yeah, I don't mean whether I don't mean the interface, I just mean whether the music it selects for you is more to your liking or uh, less. I than, would you use this over RDO and, and Pandora for making a playlist while you're working? Or? I would say it's more of a Pandora competitor than an RDO competitor. Yeah, yeah no, yeah. I agree, yeah. Yeah. And Pandora has some issues. It repeats a lot. Sometimes it mm -hmm. drifts. Some, yeah. They start right. playing Beatles the, music in my hip hop. Som yeah, sometimes there's weird keyword yeah. stuff. Yeah. Although I do feel like it's gotten better. Beats is, I think it's really interface based. I think, I, I don't think it's so much about the music. I think it's, uh, do you like the way that it's laid out? Does this seem like something that, you know, you'd pay a little bit of money for? They do need to differentiate because everybody has roughly the same 20 million songs exactly. in their library. So exactly. It's really about the interface. The reason it's of great interest, of course, Apple has purchased Beats. The acquisition's gone through. Ian mm -hmm. Rogers, the CEO of Beats, is now running uh, iTunes Radio. Right. So uh, we can expect, you know, some sort of integration between these two products. Uh, I would, I mean, this, to me, iTunes Radio is fine, but this seems like it has more potential. You know what's interesting? iTunes Radio has 10 times the listeners than Beats does. Beats hasn't really taken off. Uh, you know, you mentioned iTunes Radio, and iTunes Radio is something I consistently forget Everybody exists. does. iTunes Radio. They claim something like 6 million users, but I think that a lot of people just try it once, as we have, and then forget, <laughs> forget that it's there and use other stuff. You know, and it's still confusing to me because I think I remembered hearing that in iOS 8, iTunes Radio would be its own app. Isn't that right? Yes, they're going to separate it out. But they haven't yet. And it's buried. It's a little It's a little hidden. Okay, well, yeah, Partly because iTunes like, is so clunky. It's it, Well, that's, yeah. I mean, it's like, okay, iTunes Radio. Go ahead. Good luck finding it. Yeah, well, let's make sure. <laughs> iTunes No. Radio. What are you doing? <laughs> well, I'm just making sure. This is what a normal person would do. You search. Okay, so let's go to <laughs> iTunes, right? Music. Oh, yeah, this is what we do. Duh. Um, and then we say, and then where is it? No, no you're in the store. You oh. have to go in the uh, app, the oh. music app. Oh, gosh, that's right. We're, See, this is, this this is, is crazy. But you, you feel like you've effectively illustrated the point. The point. You, you hear iTunes radio, and you say, oh, okay, and let's go to the iTunes app, but I it's have, in the music app. I have to say, I, know, I feel like this is a much more clunky interface than Beats, but I have to say, on the other hand, Beats seems like it wants more of your attention. This okay. one, you just kind of tap one of those things, it's going to play, and you're done. Right. Well, and there's more, you know, it's not just music. There's radio. Too. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. It's, 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 it's radio, and I, I, don't, I'm, I don't use iTunes radio ever.
and I forget it's there. And maybe it'll be better when it's its own app. Well, or, or, or at least make more sense. The nice thing is it's free. You've got it. Yeah. So uh, you should probably use it. Now, I like, and I, there's, I'm going to show you two different uh, choices. I seem, because I have a large collection of music, mm -hmm. starting in the days of Napster when I downloaded lots of music and since then have purchased a lot of music. I have, oh, I don't know, 50,000, so I can't remember what it is, a ton of music. And I kind of want that music to be represented in these libraries, as well as all the other 20 million songs. You know, I want it to kind of, kind of if, if possible, use this music to tailor my playlist. So I'm gonna show you two uh, applications that do this. Uh, both are, uh, I think, the same cost. It's Amazon and Google. Let's show you Google Play Music uh, to start. Now, unfortunately, Google Play Music is iPhone. Uh, they don't have an iPad app. But of course, if you're listening to music, that, that doesn't really seem to matter. It has all the same things that we just looked at, except for this big difference, which is my library is represented in there. These are all the songs that I've downloaded and purchased over the years. You run a Google uploader from your computer, Mac or PC, and it uploads those songs. So Google stores them, you can download them again later. Um, and so everything you have is actually there. Once you have that though, you can do some interesting things. For instance, this is the Google Play uh, Music radio icon here. So here's Alicia Keys. Now I can listen to Alicia Keys, the one song I have in my library, which is of course Girl on Fire. But then because it has attached to uh, those 20 million songs, I could see every other Alicia Keys album. It shows top songs, which is nice, albums. But here's the discovery part. Oh, related artists. That's kind of nice. If you like Alicia Keys, you might like Beyonce, Mary J. Uh, Blige, Mariah Carey, Destiny's Child, or Usher. All, all of them, uh, some of my fam f favorite female artists. Uh, <laughs> you well, really, he I, has a high voice. It's you've hard. always been a Mariah fan. Yeah, I love Mariah Carey. But here's the radio icon. And see, this is this is what it has in common with, with Beats and Pandora and iTunes mm -hmm. Radio. I press that, and now what it's going to do is it's going to play uh, an Alicia Keys song, not one that I have in my library. Uh, but after that, and uh, it will play another song, not necessarily Alicia Keys related. Right. Pandora style. Yes. It has Pandora style, thumbs up and thumbs down. Uh, it does have unlimited skipping because you're paying uh, for it, which is kind of nice. It also has a few things that are very googly. It has the Chromecast button, so I can connect right to a Chromecast and play it through my stereo, which I really like. In fact, Sonos now supports Google Play Music as well, so if we had a Sonos system in here, I would see that. And uh, this, of course, will go to your Apple TV, uh, your AirPlay capability. So I, I have to say, I think, to me, this is a much more pedestrian interface, kind of as you'd expect from Google. Yeah. No sentences involved. Right. I, uh, but <laughs> so the, there's no game here. But I think it's much more uh, direct, in a sense, to what, to what I'm looking for. And, you know, you, want, you said you listen to uh, New Music Tuesday. If you go to uh, explore, it, you know, it'll show you uh, featured playlists. Mm -hmm. It'll show you genres, recommended, and, of course, new releases. So you can see the new albums and listen to them. You know, when, when Lana Del Rey's new album came out, uh, came out I, I listened to it all the way through because I'm a fan of hers. Oh, um, I am not. You don't like her, huh? No, nah, don't like her. Yeah, there's the new Nicki Minaj. They actually had now, to put the parental advisory on her bottom. Well, because it's, you know... It better be advised. It's <laughs> kind of interesting, that, isn't it? I, was now, I like, how they I would like her. That. All right. I think, I think she's so a lot of fun. There, so say you want that. Now, here's another thing. Uh, this is the Anaconda uh, um, track uh, that was pre-released. I guess there's an album coming. Um, you can download it, too. So now it's downloaded for offline listening. So that's one thing people don't like about or think they don't like about these streaming services. Is that they're never really your right. files. Right, but you can download it and put it on your iPad. So that's that's Google Play Music. Um, it was $7.99 when it first came out, and sometimes there are uh, special offers, but it's $10 a, a month. Same kind of, it, basically, I'm sure, and somebody ought to do a study, but it's so many songs it might not be uh, easy to do. I'm sure they're almost exactly the same 20 million songs for all of these. Pretty much. I would assume. Pretty much. And you know what's weird, have too, with... Um, with the subscription services, for example, I wanted to listen to an album that I had in my collection on RDO yesterday. Um, it was uh, Watch the Throne, which is Jay-Z and Kanye West. And it's like unavailable. Mm. Why? 
I don't know. Somebody has an exclusive, probably. Yeah. Yeah. But I mean, it's it was in my collection, and I've listened to it, just not in a while. And then all of a sudden, I couldn't. Oh, and that's it's like, interesting. I don't know why. Yeah. There's some. Yeah. There's some it's issue music with the rights. Yeah. They, exactly. It's well, that's one that. reason I like the services that let you upload your music. If you owned that song, it would always be there. Exactly. Yeah. So you, you wouldn't have to worry about that kind of thing. Right. Plus, if you have stuff that's oddball that's not in that 20 million song set, um, you'll also have access to that because they uploaded a copy for you. That's also how Amazon uh, Music works. Can I just show that real quickly and we'll let you, then we'll let you take over? Of course, Leo. Amazon, Why would I ever say no? Amazon recently added, hello. You know, they added my head to the Amazon interface. And it's I think nice. That's a little unusual. It's real pretty. Let's prime that. music. They recently added prime music, which is uh, not very good. It's kind of the Netflix of music. Yeah, it's it's like old stuff. It's free if you're an Amazon Prime member, which I am, but it's no new stuff. Um, I mean, it's nice if you don't, for some reason, have Fleetwood Mac rumors. You can listen to it for free. Um, I don't. I find I don't use Prime music uh, much at all. However. Uh, Amazon does have the same feature that Google has, which is that all of my music is uploaded to it. So these are the same set of songs. In fact, look at that. There's the screensavers, original screensavers theme. Um, now that's not obviously an interesting album art. That's <laughs> yeah, what is that? That's a mistake somehow. But uh, that's obviously not uh, in the collection. Right. But uh, it's there because I had it in my music and Amazon uploaded it. It would also be in the Google one. Here's other songs that I've uploaded so far. So stuff that may not, in fact, be uh, on Amazon. Um, so the radio component on Amazon, frankly, is not very good at this point. However, it is another place that you can upload your music. When you buy music on Amazon, it automatically is added to that. Uh, and it has the same capability of downloading songs and uh, putting them in your uh, iPad library for offline listening. Of the two, I prefer Google Music because Google Music with a $10 a month, it, there's no s subscription fee for Amazon, so it's free. But if you're going to pay for something, uh, Google Music gives you access to the entire music universe in a, a way that Amazon doesn't. So those are the two that I use quite a bit. Amazon Music with Prime Music is yeah. the official name of the yeah, app. Yeah, and I have to say, I'm, uh, Prime Music does not really... Oh, I'm sorry, we're playing Back in Black. So let's stop that. That's Hell's Bells. Yeah, yeah, from the Back in Black soundtrack. I, it's like, there's, it's like, uh, it brings me back to high school. I know, when you hear that bell. Oh, that, yeah, I'm like, it? I know exactly yeah. what that is. You know, I, could, I mean, just the prime music, they, it's just, it's like Netflix. It's like a lot of stuff. But, yeah. It's, I mean, it's not, it isn't a lot of stuff. It's, I, I can't remember, I think 600,000 songs. It's considerably less than that. I mean, as you're scrolling, some of these songs I like very much. Oh, yeah. I mean, not all of them. You'll find plenty of good music here. Right. The very best of all the notes. What could possibly be wrong with that? Uh, certainly, I wouldn't want to buy it. But I don't um, have to. There is nothing wrong with little hollow notes. And see, it has that big Nothing product. at all. I expect because Amazon will Because your kiss add... is on my list of the best things in life. Mm -hmm. yep, yep, number yeah. six. Remastered. Man, that's got to sound good. Oh, I bet it does. So, um, yeah. There you go. <laughs> really quick, before uh, before we move on, I do want to mention um, a an app called 8Tracks. Ooh, I like the name. Yeah, it's like the letter eight tracks. Yeah. And this is sort of a reimagined version. There, there, this is an iPad app, but for whatever reason, you know, kind of like Google Play Music, it just really wants to be in portrait mode. It's like the reimagined mux tape. Remember when we were all yeah. uploading Love those stuff? Mixed tapes. Yeah, and, yeah, and then it was just there were like rights issues. Here's here's how it works. Okay, in the iPad app, I'm not able to actually create playlists. I have to do it on the web. But this is based on music that I own. If I own this music, because Atrax has some, uh, you know, they have agreements with, uh, with, the, with labels, I can then upload a variety of mixes uh, to uh, 8-tracks. And then you, Leo, as somebody who wants to listen to my mix, can do so. I like that. Yeah. So it's like, like it's that. like I've made you a mixtape, yeah. but you can't get any of the music. I am, but I, I can just, hear it all. I just can't yeah, get it. Yeah, exactly. Download so it or whatever. again, we'll go like popular. We'll go dance. Um, I've made a mix already. I've made a mix already. Well, what I've what I've done actually is I've found someone else's mix, ah. right? Because again, I haven't actually made a mix on. Oh, a nice little baby right there. Um, so we see that this is "Best Day of My Life" by American Authors. Well, I don't know who that is. Let's go to the next song, Young Hearts, 
Strange Talk, the Chainsmokers remix. Now this has ads on it. Is that because it's free? That's because it's free, uh, yeah. So you can go ahead and get rid of them, but they'll come back. Um, Cash Cash, Lightning. I don't know any of these songs, actually. Oh, Cruella, I do know. So this is Summer Ready. It's made by user Diamond. It's been listened to over 300,000 times. Um, it's an hour and 16 minutes. And then whoever made this said, here are some keywords of what this album is, kind of, or what this uh, what this mix is. It's electronic, it's dance, it's house, it's party, good for workouts, favorite songs in EDM, electronic dance music, and then it uh, tells you what's, uh, what are what the tracks are in the playlist now of course i could say oh i really like this go ahead and and say let's save this i can um oh that's that's something else okay so that's um that's the idea with this particular mix now i can say all right well you know what? i'm not really like actually that into dance now Let's I'd do rather day drinking. <laughs> it's, it's like popular, really? Popular day drinking. Really? That's an actual category. It is. Yeah. So like Super Saturday Classics, America sounds good. There's okay, the let's ad go again. go ahead. Run around by Blues Traveler. When's the last time you heard that? It's kind of American music, right? Sure. Okay. Oh, that's definitely. Well, you want to give me definitely. the run around. I feel like 98 I... tracks in this playlist. The perfect wow. day drinking mix from the nostalgic nostalgic 90s to chill country to alternative blah blah blah. See, blah, I love blah. this idea. That so yeah. so this is what Jimmy Iovine was talking this about. Is, except these are actual humans. The, yeah, this is sharing not. It this is not algorithmic app. at all. Yeah. This is actually curated I'm by people. This. And it's and it's free. Uh, yes, it's free. And again, ad supported, as you saw. Um, you but you can, know, as you're listening, you can, you don't hear you the can ad. like upgrade to a version that doesn't have ads. But again, you know, with music, it's not you know, it's well, not all not, that visual, really. It's not, it's, yeah, because yeah, I'm not going to look at the screen once I start it. Yeah. Now you can follow specific users. Um, if someone's like, oh, you know, you really like their mix, and maybe they have a couple others. Um, a friend of mine used to work at A-Track, so I'm, you know, following some of her mixes. Um, this is stuff that's recommended for me based on, you know, the input that I've given them. Uh, for example, Good Feelings, which is happy, calming, and relaxing music. Is, is that your sock? Uh, no, this no. is, none of these are mine. This is all Give Me Love by Ed Sheeran. I don't know him. Iron and Wine. Uh, Let Her Go. Oh, like I'm, I'm, yes, gonna, I, you know, I'm installing it. Yeah. Uh, uh, A-Track is really fun. And again, we, you know, we've been talking about how all of these services are, for the most part, it's all the same library. It's just packaged differently. Atrex is different in the way that if you've got a lot of music, you like making mixes, and you kind of, uh, I don't know, makes you happy uh, to put something together and have other people like it, uh, that is a great service for you. You know what I find uh, kind of uh, interesting? A, is that the music industry seems to be kind of obsessed with butts. And uh, B... Yes. butts are big <laughs> right now. Um, butts. That Songza, which is a, uh, something we liked a lot, mm -hmm. um, Songza is... Hi, hi, John. <laughs> He's waving at me. Why? Oh, I see. You're waving at Jason. Welcome back, Jason. Welcome back. Um, <laughs> B, B <laughs> uh, that Songza, which was just recently acquired by Google, it was a similar curated idea, you'd say. Uh, I want a uh, chill Sunday morning while I make uh, brunch, and it would pick, give you some choices of sound styles, not even artists, mm. like cool jazz, mm. uh, indie rock, acoustic guitar, and you'd pick yeah. one and it'd make a playlist. So Google acquired them, so I expect to see a little bit more of that kind of technology in Google's play music. See, I, th I really feel like that's something that people want. That's what they used to get from the radio. Yeah. Right? You'd, listen, you'd turn on the, your favorite radio station, and the DJ would actually put together a mix for you. And I think increasingly that's what's missing. We have access to every song. You don't have to buy music anymore, but where's the discovery? Where's the playlist? Where's the human touch? And I think that that's what's going to happen. That's a very interesting, and I expect to see uh, Apple incorporate Beats into radio, uh, iTunes radio soon. Yeah, it'll be, it'll be yeah, the, please do something, Apple. Please do something and make it make more sense to all it's of us. It's good already. Yeah. Just, you know, just, but it just let's, doesn't let's, surface. Let's, 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 let's bring it all together. Yeah. Let's bring it all together. Uh, for all the links to the apps that we mentioned, you can go to twit.tv slash IPT. That is where our show archives live, video archives, places to subscribe, show notes, links to apps. All of it is there. You can't miss anything. Twit.tv slash IPT. And, of course, uh, we record iPad Today on Mondays right after triangulation at uh, noon Pacific, 3 p.m. Eastern. This particular show is being shot 
ahead of time for anybody who's paying attention. But never you mind. It's all about watching and listening when you feel like it on demand because we are here to serve you. 8Tracks is doing actually one of the things that I thought Spotify uh, really did well, which is playlists that are created by, is that me or you? Uh, that might be me. It might be I, I was playing 8-Tracks summer songs. Yeah. Yeah, I think that's you. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, I was like, well, we're going to have a little soundtrack for our Nature Box talk. No, for Gazelle, my friend. Oh, for Gazelle. For Gazelle. Do you have old stuff that you're just sitting in the Oh, yeah, the what am I saying? Everybody does. Or closet. Stuff that's just, you know, gathering dust yeah. instead of making you money. Well, you know, it's as if you had $100 bills just stuffed in a drawer somewhere and, and we're ignoring it, letting them collect us. That's money that could be in your pocket right now. And Gazelle makes it easy. If you go to gazelle.com, you'll see how you can easily sell your electronics, your iPhone, your Android phone, many tablets. They pay you top dollar, but the best part is they make it very, very simple. You go in there, you pick your tablet. Let's say you have a third generation iPad. A lot of us do. And uh, you're thinking the new iPad's coming probably in about a month. Maybe I should get a quote right now on my existing iPad. These quotes are good for 30 days. 30 days. We know the new iPhone will be announced September 9th, we think. Mm, so that's, that's less yeah. than 30 days off. Right, right. Uh, you don't have to take advantage of that offer until the end of 30 days. Then you can decide. You can say, nah, I don't want to sell it. Or, yeah, okay, I'll cash in. And as soon as you do, they'll send you a box prepaid shipping on anything worth more than a buck. They do buy broken iPhones and iPads. So you can, even if it's broken, you can get rid of it. And if it's broken and you can't get rid of the data, don't worry. Their experts will wipe your data before they pass it along. They will sell it to somebody else. It's kind of a nice way to recycle, really. Somebody who wants it's going to buy it. And you get some cash in your pocket to buy the new thing. Payment is fast within a few days of the receipt of the item. You can get paid in cash. You know, a check, a PayPal credit, or Amazon gift card. I, I do the Amazon gift cards because I buy a lot of stuff on Amazon, and they bump it up 5%. Gazelle has paid more than $100 million now to over 700,000 customers and a very, very, very high customer satisfaction ranking, among the best I've ever seen. Free shipping, fast processing. It's time to find out what your iPhone or your iPad is worth. Go to gazelle.com and get that 30-day quote locked in hassle-free. Gazelle! Gazelle! Oh, my goodness. I got all, all right. the lions okay. in the audience jumped when I said that. What? There's a gazelle? Where? Yeah, what? Where? I love Rawr. gazelle. Gosh, that just reminds oh. me I had a dream about a lion. Mm, you know who that is. No, who? Really? Leo the lion? It was a girl lion. Though. Oh, never mind that. There was no, you know, mane. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the lion walked right. That's so weird. Lion walked right past me, and I was like, oh, my God, there's a lion. Yeah. Okay, yeah. whatever. Yeah. That was my dream. I know so. what Mr. Freud would say. I'm just saying. <laughs> You're okay. That I'm, I don't know. Okay, so uh, we mentioned uh, Open Table getting smarter. This is kind of cool. What does that mean? If, well, it's cool if you live in San Francisco or New York, and most of you don't. I understand that. But Open Table is a great app which lets you reserve a table for, you know, two people or four people I or use it six people. All the time. Me too. All the time. All the most time. Most of the restaurants, even the fancy ones that I go to, take it. Most of them, yeah. Which makes it great. And you get yeah. you get Open Table points every time you make a reservation. And Open Table has a really nice iPad app. Right now, it's showing me a lot of um, oh. uh, options for Petaluma because it knows that I'm here because I've let it uh, track my location. But let's say, now in Petaluma, this doesn't apply. Uh, radius uh, San Francisco, yeah, there we go. Uh, because it's not available in Petaluma as of yet. However, if I were to go to Radius Cafe, uh, why is, uh, if I look for it specifically, I'm not sure why it's giving me all this other stuff. Oh, all of these are great restaurants. Oh, I, I see. Uh, because... Uh, so you're looking for the radius, the rest. So there we go. if not, not all restaurants use Open Table. They actually have to install a terminal and so forth. That's right. But more and more do, and it really is a convenience for the uh, customer. And I think that's why restaurants are biting the bullet and paying the money to uh, Open Table to do this. Because I can just get online and find a table, which is nice. Yeah. So you can say, I want to make a reservation at Radius, but you could also say, Hey, I just need a table for two somewhere in in, in, in two hours, and it'll find a restaurant. Yeah. Which is great. Yeah. So you can use it a variety of different ways. The reason that I pulled up Radius specifically is because it I. 
I know this restaurant. Are you using your mic a little bit funny? Yeah. You're a little fuzzy fuzzy? Yeah. Uh, is, uh, this restaurant is near me, but Radius is one of the restaurants that's participating in this new thing that Open Table's doing where I can pay for my check through the app and I never have to have a server come give me the check at the end of the meal. Oh, I do like that. So not only do I say, I would like a table for two tomorrow at, you know, 6 p.m., but, and it goes, okay, here are all the times, and I say, oh, you know what, 7 p.m. is actually a little bit better. You go ahead and say reserve. I'm not gonna do that right now because I don't actually need to reserve this table. But once I'm there, and I just happen to know that this is a participating restaurant because I've looked it up, uh, I can actually do all of the payment through the app as well. So when you're done with your meal, you just pay and leave. And then wow. the restaurant gets a notification that you did that, so it's not like anyone's gonna run after you. Yeah. That's Kinda really neat. interesting. You know, as Square starts to get into, Square, of course, kind of invented this. Yeah. As, as, and it's failed for Square, by the way, I think because geofencing didn't work so well. But they're getting into all other, all these other kinds of side businesses with Square, and now I see open tables going the other way. It's very interesting. It, it, there's two different trends, and then there are opposing trends in this business. One is to get more granular. Facebook separates out Messenger. Foursquare separates out check-ins. And the other is to, to do more, and open tables going in the kind of upstream, the opposite direction, doing more in the app. But I like it. I do too. I like it. And again, yeah, San Francisco, New York, ugh, you know, it's where everything always launches there first, blah, blah, blah. But I do think that this is going, this is just the beginning of how many of us will pay for things. I like to pay with Square. I thought that was great. Well, you know, the, there are a lot of retailers, well, not a lot, there are a handful of retailers in San Francisco that are still using it. Yeah, I don't Square think they, is just not they developing fired them, anymore. But they're just not, right. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I get my coffee every morning with yeah. my iPhone. You still do that. Oh yeah. yeah. Every morning. Every morning. I, I Why wonder, cash? I wonder what went, what went wrong. They were limited in the number of merchants that could use it because if they're two next door to each other, the geofencing wouldn't work. It wouldn't know if you were in restaurant A or restaurant B. Yeah. So they had to be like every third restaurant on a block. Right. So that limited them. I, I bet you some customers didn't like the idea that a picture of them popped up on this. Of course, you don't have to use it if you don't like it, so no. maybe that's not it. No, no. Maybe merchants didn't, I don't know. I, I just, it's such I, a good idea. I, you would walk in and, as you, as you know, yeah. I'd be at Acre Coffee, and I'd say, yeah, yeah it's Leo, and uh, and you to do the tip and everything. Acre and will still away. allow you to do that. Yeah. It's they didn't just, fire anybody, but no, they're not adding any more people, and I don't think they've got the app. Uh, I think it was just a little ahead of its time. Maybe that's it. I think, I, I, I think it actually worked pretty well. Um, but there were definitely uh, retailers uh, that, because I'd say, oh, why don't you start using Square? Yeah. It would just make it so much easier for me because I'm in here all the time. And it, certain merchants... Uh, Maybe it costs too much. Yeah, they, or they're just sort of wary of the whole thing. It's, anyway. That's a reluctance to use open table, actually, is that, that you have to too. put in a ter terminal right. and Rates they take high. a cut. And, yeah. Uh, and, but on the other hand, once you've got open table, why not take payments from open table? And exactly. there's no geofencing issue because you you're know we're there. Where yeah. yeah, I mean you've used it to yeah. reserve the reserve the table. Okay, so uh, earlier in the show, Leo mentioned iPad wearing tortoises, and you might have been like, "I would like to know what that's I, I, all about." I wasn't sure if my iPad was going to wear a tortoise or the tortoise was going to wear my iPad. I can see where you'd be confused because either situation seems a little strange. Yes. The tortoise is wearing the iPad. Now, this is, it's kind of an interesting story. This is actually uh, Gabe who emails us all sorts of great stories um, who emailed this. Here's the idea is this is like an art project where, you know how there are like ghost towns in the US, you know, yeah. the old, for the old wild west, yeah. you know, and you go and you visit. Yeah. The idea is, is to have these tortoises walk around in these ghost towns. Um, this is just, that's just a commercial. And wear the iPads that are recording everything that they see and obviously the tortoises don't walk very quickly, so you're gonna kinda have this like almost slow-mo <laughs> effect. And then they'll be in uh, installation in a like an art gallery, uh -huh. a museum. Uh, Aspen Art Museum. And uh -huh. there are, understandably, some people who say, I don't think the tortoises really want to do this. I don't think the this tortoises is a, This is know. an animal rights issue. I disagree. Well, Does I don't know. I mean, really is it or isn't it? That there's an iPad strapped on its shelf? I think it probably knows there's something up there. Does it hurt? Couldn't tell you. I don't know enough about their back structure and skeletons. And they're going to walk around anyway. Do tortoises have skeletons? Yeah, I think yeah, so. Yeah, they're mammals, right? Are no, they? they're not mammals. They lay eggs. Oh, yeah. Uh, but I'm uh, pretty sure they don't have exoskeletons. That's just a shell. They have. Sure. That's the skeleton. No, no. Inside they have bones. Oh. 
Well, then they're fine. They got all sorts of bones and a big old shell. I think this you is could, what they were meant to I do. I think you can... Uh, look, if you put a person on a burrow, you can put an iPad on a tortoise. I think it's... I think it's a... Is it cruel to ride a horse? Some might say, animal activists yeah, might say. Yeah, yeah. iPads, tortoises. This is a little weird. It's very strange. Are, are the activists thinking it's humiliation? No, they're thinking... It's painful? No. Well, I think it's... I think, it, you know, a lot of this has to do with... Uh, you know, not letting the animal, you know, make the decision. Be it's even be it's a tortoise, it can't make any decisions. <laughs> I I'm don't know. So sorry. I I don't want to laugh. It's because, a tortoise because this whole thing is just super bizarre. But what are you going to do? Ask the tortoise. But I kind of have to laugh a little bit. Well, see, Change.org has a petition to the Aspen Art Museum saying, "Don't you dare do don't, this. It's bad for the poor don't tortoise. Do it." What do they feel like when you have tortoise soup? That's bad for the tortoise. I'll say. Yeah. You didn't ask the tortoise if you could make soup out of it. All right, so that's the weird, very strange, uh, eye weird today and eye weird story. We haven't had one of those in a while. Uh, this is definitely there. falls into that. What if we category. paid the tortoise minimum wage? Would that be okay? <laughs> but then their little paws, yeah, they can't wage punch is the time cards. Out these days. No, it's the kids are making bucks. all sorts of money. Making good bucks. Four twenty when Try, I. Four, yeah. 425 when I was, you know. I worked at McDonald's for three dollars and fifteen cents an hour. Four twenty-five, and not a penny more not because penny I worked more. at an independent grocery store, and they were mean. No tips for you. We got an email from Rabbi who says, in episode 209, so that's a couple episodes ago, uh, I noticed that Leo's transparency on his iPad was turned off. Rabbi yes. says, that's a good thing. Yes. When it's off, the game's animations run more smoothly. You can notice it in games like Tribes, Hexagon, MMX Racing, and OTTTD. Oh, yeah. On the track today. Mm. I hope when iOS 8 comes out, devs update their apps to take advantage of metal. Old tortoise turtle showdown. <laughs> I don't know. Exactly. Yeah. Uh, Rabbi, good point. Good point. You know, transparency I, on or off. I did it, it in still the... still made my iPad look cooler. It's in accessibility, and uh, I did a couple of things in accessibility to, uh, I think, improve the usability. One is I did the button shapes button. I... Um, Reduced motion uh, and uh, increased contrast, and I uh, switched the labels. I think these are all things that you can do. You don't have to, you know. These are just this makes it just a little easier to use. Yeah, it's, yeah. it's good times. Great oldies. Yeah. I don't know why I keep saying that today. You say that? Have you been listening to an oldie station? No, it, that's just um, KMGG. That's just it's in my mind. Up at Santa, Santa Rosa Station. Good times and great oldies. Do you listen to KMG. that driving up here? No, but when I was a kid, I used to oh, listen when you, to you it. grew up listening to it, yeah. It was, old, it was the oldies station, you well, know? You know, that's funny It's the only thing my dad and I could agree on. Oldies, it, it then, was probably 60s songs, yeah, right? Yeah, 50s, 60s. Yeah. Elvis and the Beatles and what stuff are, like is that. Is oldies today, like, Good. Chumba Wumba? I mean, what... Chumba Wumba is, like... I, I, I don't get know. knocked down. Well, like, what's, an, get what's an oldie? Is it a song that's more than 20 years old? Well, Because then it, Chumba Wumba it, would be, that would work. be an oldie in the yeah. same way that when you were listening in the 80s, 60s songs were oldies. Right. 20 years old. I guess Chumba Wumba isn't quite 20 years old. Oh, yeah. It's, it's darn near. Well, because I remember how old I was. I was an intern. I don't know why. I just, I just remember that. Okay. That wasn't quite 18 years ago. I'm just wondering. What makes an oldie these days? Gosh, I'm so I know I'm an oldie. I'm I don't so deny that. I'm very old. I'm way older than than you think. Way older. I don't know. What's an oldie station? Is it the 80s? I think it is. So but those Hall & Oates is oldies. No, that's definitely, but that's really is oldies. That's that, old But oldies. that's 80s. No, Hall & Oates is, is 80s, really? Well, late 70s. I think Sarah yeah, Smile oldies. was like yeah, late 70s. That but you know, oldies. early 80s. I don't know. I don't make the rules. Somebody NWA are they oldies? No. Okay. I mean they're oldie rap. Well, I'm saying they're, they're old, old gangster school. rap. They're old school with a K. With a K. That's how you know it's good. All right. So um, Riley in Boston Spa, New York. I don't know where that is. Mm, but sounds, it sounds nice. Kind of nice. Anything yeah. Anything with the word spa in it. Um, says, I wanted to let you know that you can actually use the messaging app Yo as a trigger in the app IFTTT, other, uh, otherwise so known as So if somebody yo's me. That. I think this is strange and funny at the same time. Riley doesn't explain 
why you would want to do that, but I suppose... I could send a verbal, a long, wordy text message back. If somebody yo's me, yeah. I received your yo, <laughs> and I'd like to thank you for contacting me. That would be good. At this time, I'm not accepting yo's, but I'll be glad to re reacquaint myself with your uh, interesting persona at some later date. Right. Signed, Leo Laporte. Or you could send a trigger that, yeah, like if you get a yo... My lights go on. Or, that would be a bad trigger. That would, yeah, that would be annoying. The lawn gets Or just mowed. like set a reminder for yourself to call that person back. Or I don't know. I don't use the. I Yo love app. it, but I think it's kind of fun. We, we were talking. Of course, if this and that, it has a great iPad app uh, as well. Um, there are, you know, it's it's all about putting together what they call recipes that are basically triggers when something happens. Do something. Uh, so, for example, any new payment accepted via Square adds a row to a spreadsheet. We were talking about Square oh, a minute that's ago. That's cool. Yeah, it's kind of neat. So I think that's the Jeff Needles command. <laughs> it oh. seems like something he'd he'd want to keep track of. In a spreadsheet. Oh God, that guy. <laughs> I know. Yeah, right. Yeah, let's make sure we remember what we did. Did I get any Starwood points? Post to Slack if your company stock rises past a certain point. <laughs> that would be interesting. Anyway, that's is, we could go on and on I with was... IFTTT, but it is a great iPad app. It can be so helpful for a variety of services that you use to trigger uh, actions. I was uh, uh, talking to Kevin Rose, as you know, last Monday on Triangulation. Great interview. And he said he liked Yo. And he said that people are doing all sorts of interesting things. Did, has with Google Yo. Ventures invested in you? No. Okay. He said I'm not investing in it. Oh, okay. But uh, but it doesn't mean it doesn't have some interesting potential. Absolutely. There you go. That's one right there. Absolutely. Seemed like a simple app. I saw you talk about it on the social hour. Immediately signed up and yo'd you. You did. Yeah. And I wasn't sure if it was actually you. It was me. You've been watching the social hour lately. I've noticed you. I've I noticed you in nothing there. Nothing else to do on my day off. Right. Just watch. I you like know, to watch see, little TV. See, see the see the, well, you know that Amber Mac. She's 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 a she's a hot cookie. Yeah, I watch for Amber. No, I watch for you. Oh, well, thank no, you. No, I actually like that show. You had you had. I actually Den like I actually like that. You had Dennis Crowley on the other day for first That was great. Wasn't that fun? Yeah, I, I, I really enjoyed it. I um, if you if you didn't see last week's uh, social hour, really Dennis Crowley, good. new Foursquare app. Yeah. He was I I felt he was very forthcoming about the challenges and the frustrations uh, involved with. Um, well, with you know, with basically completely changing the experience on your users, even if you think it's best for them. We've seen since why. Right. Uh, traffic for Foursquare. Uh, who is it? There's some company, uh, Apple Annie or something. What is that? App Annie. App Annie. Yeah. That keeps track of app usage and app downloads and stuff. Was noting a dramatic dip in Foursquare downloads up to this point. It mm. was just falling off the charts. Yeah, right, yeah. And so it w I think that internally they realized we got to do something. We are dying here. Mm -hmm. in a couple, let this go on for another year. There'll be no Foursquare. Yeah. It'll be it'll go the way of Gowalla. Uh, completely different app. Uh, quite 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 a, quite a different experience. I like it a lot, but you know. Um, I have said that in the past. Uh, we love hearing from you. You can write us at iPad today at twit.tv. You can leave us a voicemail at 757-504-IPAD. You can send us a video. You can tweet at Leo and or myself. One of us is sure to get back to you. I wonder who that would be. Uh, I, I tweet people. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All the time I yeah, respond. Yeah, yeah. I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm a happy tweeter yeah. as well. Um, and thanks in advance. We love your feedback. Uh, keep it coming. App suggestions, all that good stuff. Questions, comments, Leo's shaving, if you, oh, my goodness. Okay. Wow. I, You're just going for it, aren't mm, you? Doesn't that smell good? It kind of mm. does, actually. Can you smell it there? A little bit. Mm, you know what's in here that I really like? It's called marula. What is that? It's the essence of some uh, some uh, plant that just has a nice fragrance. And then, of course, I'm going to take out my beautiful Harry's razor. This is, a, this is the Harry's Shave Kit. I've got the Winston Kit at home. You know, it's sigmatogrammed with my name. I have never had a better shave. And you know, since I started using Harry's, I haven't cut myself, not once. You know, I realize that there are a lot of people who say, I am gonna save money on my razor blades. And they end up getting, I don't know, are you this kind of person? They end up getting those cheap plastic handled disposable razors. I don't, if you've ever used those, you maybe you notice you cut yourself all the time with those that's because they're really cheap bad blades but i understand why if you go to the drugstore and you look at like the gillette fusion and it's eight dollars a blade or four dollars a blade you go i can't afford to get a new blade i'm gonna i'm gonna have to reuse that blade for an extra long time or i'm gonna have to 
go out and get cheap blades. You don't have to compromise. Harry's cares so much about the quality of the blades, they actually bought a factory in Solingen, Germany, where the best blades are made. There's only two factories in the world that make blades, razor blades, that are really good. They bought one of them. Uh, and now, when you get a Harry's blade at a, a fraction of the cost of the drugstore blades, you're getting the best blades made, then with the best shave cream. And look at that. Smooth, clean as a baby's butt. I am a fan of Harry, so much so that I just shaved. That's, it's made shaving fun again for me. I can't believe you just shaved on the show. On the show, and yeah. go ahead, feel it like a baby's butt. I'll just believe you. It's soft, it's smooth. When you get the Harry's Winston kit, this is the Winston kit, you'll get the, sh the shave cream, a couple of extra blades, best shave cream in the world, and of course the best blades in the world. And then every other month you'll get, uh, if you want, you can get your blades sent to you. I get, I think, four tubes of the shave cream and eight blades every other month, so that way I change the blade every week. And I tell you, you're gonna get the best shave you've ever gotten. Shaving is fun again. Harry's cares. They want to give you a great shave at a fraction of the price of the drugstore blades. Take a look at the Harry's Truman set, the Harry's Winston set. You can get it engraved. The blades, $2 or less for these beautiful blades made in Germany. You can read about the factory on the Harry's site. Harry's.com. If you use the offer code iPad today with your first order, you'll get five bucks off. Really is a great shave. Come on, feel it. All right. Smooth as a baby butt. Oh, that is very much like a baby's butt. You know, I went to a sip and see uh, yesterday. You know what that is? A sip and see. It's when somebody has a baby. Yeah. And then they've like haven't invited you over to meet the baby, so, so they have wanna... a party. So you have a little bubbly, and you see oh, the baby. Oh, that's cute. It's called the sip and it's see. It's like a viewing party, a baby viewing party. And you came back with that lovely May Day crown? That's great. Uh, I've, been going that around, I've been going around the Maypole a lot. They give you that crown when it, you hit 35 song, right? and you're still a virgin. Here we go, here we you go get to down wear the, flowers. the mulberry bush. No, that's not, that's a different <laughs> song. Why do I, I'm getting them confused. It's May, it's May, the lusty month of May. No, no that's there's not something it. about a pole and going Outdoor, around the Maypole. Yeah. And they go around the Maypole. <laughs> Not it. Do you know how you do a maypole? <laughs> you go over with a ribbon. Over under with a ribbon. Have you Are, done that? We used to do it every May first. I, I think when I was a kid. I think in like grammar school. Yeah. Maybe we did Fun. that, and the kids would all get messed up, and then we go. Ooh. You know what? You know who brought it back? What? Katy Perry. Justin Timberlake. He's bringing maypoles back. Yeah. <laughs> no, Katy Perry brought it back. Okay, okay, okay. In her most recent, I saw her. Uh, in a performance, she's standing on a tall thing, she's got ribbons, and then the dancers are, make her into a maypole. Okay. It's the strangest thing I've ever seen. But what she didn't have was that incredible, festive... Don't you love it? I'm kind of wearing it to the side because I didn't want you guys to it's miss the ribbons. So I think the ribbons pretty. are kind of supposed to go in the Where back. Where do we get that? That is lovely. I have, no, I have no idea. I've never seen such a beautiful app cap. By the way, uh, Leo and I are wearing hats because it's time for the app cap award. Oh, I thought you wore it to the sip and see. I did not wear this to the sip and see. You should have worn it to the sip and see. You know what it would have done? It would have put all the attention on me, and it wasn't about me yesterday. It was about the newborn baby. Mm -hmm. I hate that. That's why I don't go to sip and sees. Milo Sarver, you're so cute uh, and small. Was he a funny-looking kid, FLK? We call him FLKs. Uh, he has a head of hair. that He has more hair than I do. Wow. It's weird. But you know he's what that means. He's really cute. I don't. I don't either. Okay. So this is the part of the show where Leo and I each pick an app, and I'm going to go first. This app is called Matter, like as in... It doesn't. It does, though. It does. <laughs> it does. For one ninety nine, this is just the weirdest app in the world. Mm. Okay, so I've gone ahead and imported a photo that I took of me and Lucy. Lucy's kind of fist bumping, right? But you might say to yourself, okay, well, that looks like an interesting thing, but what is all this weird stuff on top of you guys? Yeah. This is where matter comes in. The whole idea is to, like, make this creation of, like, art based on something that you've imported, such as, in this case, a photo. So, does that seem interesting to you, or do you think that's dumb? Okay, well, let's, you know, try something else. You know By what? the way, it doesn't I have to be blue. I see this all the time on Instagram. Now I know what, what's going on. Yeah. I see this all the time. I kind of like this, right? Oh, yeah. That's... It kind of makes us seem like we're, I don't know, we're just a, a kind of sort of sort of strange. Okay, let's go ahead and do a little masking. So let's take a little oh, bit out. That's actually kind of interesting. It's kind of, I mean, this Can you is, change the blue to some? Yeah, yeah, you know. of course. Yeah, you've got objects and styles, a variety of colors and shapes. 
you can go ahead and um, and change. You could wrap yourself in a geodesic dome. Yeah, I mean, the whole idea is this is sort of a funny picture because I just I took this with the uh, uh, with the camera on the iPad, so it's not like of the best quality, and I just took it really quick because I was just playing around with the app. Yeah. But you know, maybe you've got some um, picture of like the desert or. You know, for whatever reason, you just kind of like the idea of, of of adding some element that is not, you know, it's, this is not I find it's often natural. used on Instagram to hide the naughty bits. Or that, yes, absolutely, for sure. We go Maybe ahead and just add the people some shadows I follow. here. There are some ideas. Now, here's kind of an uh, interesting part of this. If I say something like, let's go ahead and animate Whoa, this. Whoa, dude. Yeah, right? Oh, that's trippy. So now I can save this. <laughs> I can go ahead and save As an animated GIF? Let's or? make the video. I think it'll export as a doc. It's a video. It's a video. Yeah, it's a video. So you could still put that on Instagram. Yes. It would baffle people. It, yeah, people would just be like, I what don't know hell? what you're doing. It, this is very artsy-fartsy, right? So for two bucks... You've got a very interesting app that, for sure, is going to confuse people. Yeah. Now, do you want to put it on Instagram? <laughs> sure I do. Why not, Heck right? yeah. Now, Instagram, of course, is not an iPad app. It's yeah. an iPhone app. Yeah. However, you can go ahead and oh, yeah, just get, get, get right in there. Gallery, it, it doesn't yeah. actually work perfectly. It'll yeah. still want you to import bubble I think that's Instagram's limits, not necessarily. Yeah, exactly. It's just yes. the the way that the two apps yeah. are talking to each other. Go ahead and say done. Now, of course, you can like you can you know change the rotation. You can speed the whole thing up. Wow. You can make it pulse. I mean, it's just, the whole wow. thing is just super weird. But I had a good time with this. And again, I made this in two seconds flat. Clearly. It's somewhat of a bad example. I just thought Lucy looked really cute, and I know that she's at home watching, pretty she, excited. She's making pretty her debut excited. on the TV. This bump, kitty style. Anyway, that's Matter. It's uh, two dollars, and I thought it was a lot of fun. Matterapp.co is the website if you want to know more about it. It's very interesting. It's really, it's just strange, man. But again, uh, they will give you some examples within the app, which is very helpful because you might be like, I don't know why I'd ever want to do this, Sarah. But certain photos end up. Uh, you got, kind of get a lot out of it uh, when you when you play around enough. I mean, look at that. You know, it's like that's like it's like otherworldly. It looks like some sci-fi type of a situation, and that's oh, just that's you know that weird. was built off of someone's picture. So, that's my app. Have you always wanted to play God? Always. There was a game. I loved this game called Populous. I don't know if you remember it. You could play it on the Amiga. It's been around for years. Uh, there was a more recent one, PC game called Black and White, same idea. Now you could play it on your iPad. And if you've, you've seen me play Simpsons Tapped Out, it was kind of a cartoony version of, of this. This is more true to the original populace. It's called Goddess, G-O-D-U-S. And it, I just found it. It's a, it's a pick of the week from uh, the iTunes store. Same people who did Populous. And what's interesting is you can create a world. You start off in a very primitive kind of setting grow your world they worship you you collect points from their prayers oh. because you are god okay uh they they seem you know to care about their petty little lives but of course you can destroy it in an instant so oh, look i can cr collect some prayer points my populace is uh it was a real crowd pleaser if you oh, listen to our chat room oh loved populace well if you love populace you'll love this there have been other games uh, similar to this um to, what was it tiny world or tiny people or something but this is really very close to the original you can terraform stretch land out uh, make room for your people zoom in and zoom out they have a life it's sim city not exactly it's more it's populous if you've ever played it there's a, a monument that they built to me you can have them build other monuments uh, it really is addictive now it's free and they've done the in-app purchase thing um, however, I have to say, uh, so far I've been able to play it without buying anything, and I think this looks like one of those games that will be well enough balanced. The, the other thing, that you don't have to spend a lot of cash, or any cash, I haven't spent any money. Now, I'm trying to get there so I can build another shrine to myself. So let's chop down. You know, this is a game where you can pave paradise and put up a parking lot. <laughs> so, if you're, uh, if you're one of them uh, tortoise-loving uh, eco-hippie types, <laughs> you, you, no, you can make it. You can also make it ecologically friendly. It's it's really I. Uh, you know what? I was late for the show today because I couldn't stop.
playing Gro goddess. Grooming. Is it goddess or goddess? I think you're a god, so I think goddess. you should call it goddess. Okay, all right. I really do. Well, I am a goddess. You're a goddess. Yes, goddess. 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 Free to play. Heroin, I like heroin. I heroin. like it. I, it's one of those games I can tell I'll be playing a lot of. 22cans.com is where you can find more about it, and it is free with in-app purchases. Very good. Perfect for the iPad, actually. Yeah, it seems that way. Yeah. It's soothing. And who doesn't want to play God, you know? Yeah, you could be a benign god, or you could be an evil god. Worship uh, me! As the game goes I on, you'll see you can uh, you get more uh, capabilities. So I just got the ability to command followers. Um, so I can actually have the follower go to this plot of land. Uh, tap and hold your follower to leash him. Oh, I love this. Well, while you do that, I'm going to go <laughs> ahead and thank everybody for watching this episode of iPad Today. You guys are the bee's knees. Uh, we will be back next week with a brand new episode. And we will have different hats. Until then, I'm Sarah Lane. I'm Leo Laporte. Do svidaniya. And we'll see you next time on iPad Today. Oh! oh!